provincial capital of East Java, is the second largest city in Indonesia. This city has a huge number of diversities among the people, cultures, and ways of living. Surabaya has been acknowledged for its green public open spaces. It also has successfully equalized the development between build-up area and green area that makes Surabaya a livable city for all. I see Surabaya as a great city with amazing people. Living pace here is quite slow, so you don't feel the rush of living in the city. It's also a good place to travel around. I mean, in bus you can go in many places or taking train on Java. It makes me so to be in peace, so I think that is a good place for me to stay. Surabaya is also known as the city of heroes because of its role in Indonesian struggle for independence. Moreover, Surabaya nowadays has already become the center of businesses, commerce, industries, and education in Indonesia. One of the pioneers of education in Surabaya is the Institute of Technology Sepaluna Pemba, better known as ITS. So, hello everyone, uh, good evening. Thank you for joining our r 2 today. So, welcome to researcher and research student enrichment session on today, Thursday, 1st of July, 2021. My name is Agatha Christine from ITS Global Engagement, and today I will be your Master of Ceremony for this session. And participant who is to ask question during the question and answer session, Please send your question to the link that also be sent by our committee via the Zoom chat room. So today's lecture theme is about life strategy as researcher, which will be delivered by our speaker, Associate Professor Arif B. Setiawan, and Dr. Ruli Pratiwi Setiawan will be the one conducting today's session as our moderator. So before we start our agenda, let me inform you our webinar protocol to join this event. Okay. Next, please. So first, please adjust your name or ID screen using the given format. Second, during the event, please turn off the audio and only turn on the audio when the moderator gives the chance. Third, turn on your camera. Fourth, ensure your network has a stable connection. And fifth, adjust the seat position comfortably and prevent the backlight effect. And next is important note on attendance. So please fill the attendance form on the link bit.ly attendance underscore r 2 asep 2021 The link will be closed in 15 minutes. And please fill in the feedback form that will be shared 15 minutes before the session ends and closed after one hour. And attendance and feedback is compulsory for this purpose. So first, mandatory attendance for ITS master and doctoral students new intake. Second, certificate of participation. This is eligible for international participants who have 60% attendance or minimal five meetings. And third is STEM for it. This is eligible for ITS undergraduate students. And next, I will read a brief explanation of our moderator today. So Buruli Pratiwi Setiawan, PhD, 
uh, she got her bachelor degree in architecture of IPS, got master degree in infrastructure planning at Universitas Stuttgart in Germany, and she got PhD in development policy in Hiroshima University in Japan. She is a senior manager for WordPress University Affairs in ITS Copa Engagement, and a senior man and a senior lecturer at Urban and Regional Planning of ITS. Her research interests are city planning, infrastructure planning, and sustainable development. So that's it, the curriculum vitae of our moderator today. And now I would like to greet our moderator today. Hello, Puruli. Hello, Agatha. Good evening. Okay, good evening, Puruli. So are you ready? Yes, for sure. Okay, so without further ado, let's proceed to the main agenda to Puruli as our moderator all the time is yours. All right, thank you so much, our nice MC today. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I mean, a good evening, everyone. I hope you are all in a good health and a good conditions because we know that the pandemic hasn't over. So today, uh, it's a good uh, chance for us because uh, this event, researcher and research student enrichment programs is the last chance. So I believe that you will be uh, missing this uh, event in the future. So today uh, we already have our speaker with us, Associate Professor Arif Setiawan. Uh, hello, Professor Arif, how are you? Hello, I'm good here, thank you. Thank you, Professor Arif. So uh, before we continue to our agenda, uh, the presentations from Dr. Arif. I would like to read short CV from him. So the educational backgrounds. Dr. Arif received his bachelor in architecture from University of Gajah Mada. And uh, for his master, he finished in University of Cincinnati, US. And his PhD uh, was received in architecture department from Georgia Institute of Technology USA. And uh, academic and professional experience. He is now as a associate professor in the Department of Architecture, Kennesaw State University, USA. And his research interests include design thinking and methods, design pedagogy, and hybrid and alternative modernity in architecture and urbanism. So we are so of, we are very pleased to have Dr. Arif here to deliver his uh, sharing with the topic life strategy as a researcher. So without further ado, I would like to invite Associate Professor Arif Stiawan to deliver his presentations. You have 60 minutes approximately, and then after that, we will continue with QA session. So to Dr. Arif, the time is yours. All right, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ruli, for the fantastic introductions, and um, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Okay, so it's a great to be here. Uh, it's an honor for me to be involved in this uh, program research and research student enrichment program, right, which is um, uh, organized and held by uh, ITS. I think it's very, 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 very important and very uh, appropriate uh, um, program for um, uh, graduate students. Like, um, yeah, um, thank you so much for, uh, for ITS, uh, International Office ITS, uh, for the invitations for me to uh, share my experience and my insight right, uh, uh, for this forum. Right? Uh, thanks, uh, Agatha and uh, Nabila for, for uh, the support and the team also from, from the international office. Right? Um, all right, so uh, let me just start my, uh, my talk. Right? Uh, Can everybody see my uh, screen? Uh, uh, yes. Perfect. All right, great, perfect. thanks. Yep. Yeah, um, so the topic that I was asked to uh, 
discuss this evening is um, you know life strategy as a researcher and like uh, the 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 descriptions that I uh, read from from uh, uh, the syllabus like you know that's uh, uh, after right after uh, we graduate from our uh, graduate program like the research is actually just started right so as a as a way as a as, uh, as we develop our our career right um, which is like um it's kind of like a, a prompt me to uh, reflect on my the way I develop my my career here uh, as an academic as a scholar as a researcher in in the US right um now okay, okay. Uh, when I read this, uh, when I think about this, right, so the first, the first uh, thing that came from uh, to my mind is like this, right? uh, like it's an idiom in English, right? uh, curiosity killed the cat, right? Yeah. So we know that uh, cat is a very, very curious animal, right? So uh, they always want to know everything, right? They, was, they, they always look into everything, right? Um, that often, right, they uh, get them into, got them into troubles, right? Um, so that's actually like the the meaning of the uh, the expression is like okay so just be careful right but uh, what uh, with what we want to know right what would, would we do right so but uh, but we also know that cat tends to like uh, get away right uh, get away with 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 everything like if, even if, if if they poke their nose into things that's that's quite uh, unusual or dangerous they, they always get away with that right and that's 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 the thing that's that um um. Uh, uh we 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 might uh want to to learn right so uh the skills right the the ability right so not only to get away from uh get away uh, from 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 uh difficult situations but also get results right uh, from that right? um you yeah, know just like you know there's there's an expression in english that uh, cats have nine lives or like you know, or seven or six depends on uh, where we are right but yeah this this all oh, this is skills right and this is skills in life right uh, in which right uh, uh, our curiosity will will let us to to uh, to get um, results right okay. now okay. okay now this actually next to the life skills that 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 um, we in in the academic world right uh, would like to develop of course okay uh, at school or maybe uh, at work right uh, it's always a very controlled environment right um, so here right we have uh, research in capital r right yeah. but research right uh, is always um, it's also uh, uh, it's not only about something that is controlled or intentional but 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 how do we like the thing here right so i think when uh, when i uh, uh, prepare for this talk. I'm thinking about like, how do we translate this, right? So uh, not only research in capital R, but also, but more importantly, right? Research in lowercase r, right? So in, in our everyday life, in, in, uh, in, in the way we, we encounter our, our, our daily activities and, how, and we, we do, we go about our, 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 our daily life, right? Yeah. Um, just, just like cats, right? So this life skills based on and the keywords is the curiosity, um, indeed, right? So research, right? So when we we, we talk about research, right? uh, and the origins are like from capital research in with capital R, the uh, research in uh, low case R, right? So what's what's the meaning of the research itself, right? So uh, research, right, uh, is a you know both a verb, like, uh, uh, an activity, right? Uh, and uh, a noun, right? And the act itself, right? Uh, and it's a verb, is to investigate, right? To, uh, to seek answers, right? To, to know something, right? And as a noun, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a series of acts, right? Uh, inquiry, examinations, investigations, experimentations, and discovery, interpretations, right? Uh, Full for like informations and so on and so forth, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, and that's that's something that we uh, we like to keep in mind that uh, that research is both a verb and, and a noun, right? And uh, but at the end of the day, like okay, this is just always about asking questions, but being curious, right? And then if we if we if we 
we look into the nature of questions. Okay? There's only three types of questions in the world. Right? Okay? Is, is it uh, either is what is it what uh, or how or why? What is a uh, uh, descriptive? Right? Uh, what's the name? Right? Uh, what's the color? Right? What's what the day is? What time is this? Right? Okay? And then how? Right? And the next level of questions is is how? Right? It's a prescriptive. Right? Okay? Uh, it's about procedures, about techniques, about how we do things. Okay. And then uh, the third level of question is why, right? And the essence of things we start to ask. Okay? Uh, we we start we start to want to know, right? Uh, uh, what's behind everything, right? What motivate things? What what what, what drive some things, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So okay? Uh, what, how, and why? Uh, three, 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 uh, three types of questions, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, and then if you, you know, that's something that, that uh, uh, if we engage in, in scholarly uh, activity and scholarly life, like a scholarship and scholarly, like a, uh, a scholarly doesn't have to, uh, uh, to means that we have to produce something, but scholarly means that we start to, uh, to do, to, to, to ask questions, we start to collect information, we start to, uh, uh, to gather, uh, to gather uh, 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 facts and things like that. Right? So, uh, scholarly and then scholarship. Right? So we, before we get into scholarship, right? so we we uh, we like to develop the habit of being scholarly. Right? So uh, we reflect on everything. Right? So we uh, we do something and then we reflect on everything and we start to uh, uh, ask ourselves questions. Like, how do we uh, do that again? Right? How what possible ways of of of, of doing that? Okay. 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 Um, but then, like, um, just like uh, what Joker said, right? And uh, like a uh, famous line from from the Dark Knight: like, "Why so serious?" Right? Like, uh, um, it's it's not always like a, a research bit with big 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 R, right? But um, basically, right? So research is something that we do in 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 everything that we engage in in our daily life. Okay. Now, okay. here, right? So I like to switch gear a bit, like uh, a bit about, about, about my own background, right? So uh, how I developed my, my career right? uh, as a scholar in, in academic setting, right? So yeah, I'm from Yogyakarta, right? So, and then um, by chance, right? It's a good fortune that I, I receive a scholarship to continue my education in, in graduate level in the US, right? So for, for a master's degree. So in the US, right? So master's could mostly like right? it's a it's a it's a professional program, right? So not uh, not so much uh research oriented, but mostly uh uh, uh oriented to prepare uh, uh students into uh, professional lives, right? Uh, yes of course there are there are uh research content in, in master's education. Right? So Back then, right? So my plan is to like, uh, earn my master's degree, and uh, and then uh, went back to to Indonesia and, and develop my professional life. But then, while I'm there, right? So why not, right? So uh, while I'm in the US, why why not I pursue my my education further, right? And this is where I, ex I get exposed to to many things, right? So the different cultures, and then like uh, the the habit of asking questions, right? Um, here, right um well like maybe like a like a, like a bit of like a of tension like so you know research from Harvard and uh, MIT showed like um the danger of meritocracy yes of course like meritocracy is very important that we achieve everything based on our merits but that's that's not enough right so uh, latest research from from this uh Harvard and MIT showed that like you know we always have to uh, to be aware, right? This is not only merits that 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 that, that got us to where we are, right? But mostly, like uh, being in the right time in the right place. Right? Uh, uh, the important is not so much in 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 the knowledge itself, but our uh, to our uh, social commitment. Right? So people who only believe in meritocracy tend to be less sensitive to uh, social conditions. Like, but we have to be always aware that, like, you know, luck is actually. Uh, uh, play uh, play major important uh, very major uh, roles in in our professional professional life. Right? So uh, to keep us engaged in our social life. Right? Um, yes. Right? So yeah. Okay. 
fortunately i was in, in the right place in the right time in in, in certain uh, uh, point in my life so i was able to uh to get opportunities right to further my educations to develop myself right uh, professionally uh, academically right intellectually yeah yeah now nah, okay and then like so well i'm uh uh, well, when I entered my PhD uh, program in uh, uh, at Georgia Tech, Tech, so that's where okay, my okay, my my advisor, uh, Dr. Lukox, started to instill in me uh, okay, the habit, right, the culture of being a researcher. And actually, it's very very simple, right? Uh, we started to talk a lot uh, about uh, detectives, right? Detective story, and. and Dr. Lukaku, like, uh, like detective stories so much. Right? And this is actually, like, so yes, of course, I, I always like uh, detective stories, detective movies, like, uh, but I never, never paid much attention to, uh, to beyond, beyond the story of, of the detectives until I, I mean, until like, you know, with my everyday uh, interactions with Dr. Lukaku, like it actually, like, uh, yeah, okay? and detective stories is always about curiosity, about asking questions, about solving problems. Like, so, of course, like when you talk about Hollywood uh, film noir. There's a lot of artistic uh, uh, values in that, right? Uh, about special organizations, right? About about a drama, right? Uh, special drama and so on and so forth, right? But uh, more importantly here, right? So here where where actually, right? So we could learn, right? From from uh, whatever we encounter, right? Uh, uh, a different aspect of our life right? so when we learn it's not only what we learn from from school but actually right? so, uh, from from our daily activities right? um, and then from that right? uh, so, yeah okay uh, detective movies detective stories yeah we could start from uh, like a like pop uh, novels like Agatha Christie so we could we could we could also reflect on on uh, uh, detective stories that are considered as uh, as a high literature, like uh, Edgar Allan Poe, indeed, right? And uh, uh, like uh, French writers, right? uh, like Baudelaire or Stéphane Malarm, consider like uh, Poe as like a uh, the the like, the persons who uh, started like uh, thinking about modernity. Like her, his uh, Dupin uh, story, right? Uh, is actually a reflection on modern life and is a uh, uh, an insight into the psyche right, of of life in more in 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 modern uh, urban uh, situations. Right? Um, um, yeah, and that's actually fit into my my distance there, which I always ask the questions of what what is what's the meaning of actually being modern? What is modernity and so on and so forth? Right? And actually, like so from here, right. Uh, uh, from stories from Poe, right? So how he reflects on, on the inner, inner, inner life, right? Of inner, uh, inner life of of of, of people in uh, living in in alienations in 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 big big cities like Paris, right? So, uh, and it's not only about that. Like it's about how okay, people, you know, uh, got lost in in the cities, right? Uh, uh, being exposed to uh, completely uh, different, uh, completely uh, um, alienating situations, right? So, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, okay. Indeed, right? So if you think about detectives and us as researchers, right? Yeah, um, we basically follow the same, same very, uh, very simple procedures. Like we, we start from questions, right? just like, in detective stories, like uh, questions about murders or or robberies or or uh, thievery and things like that, right? So we, we start by asking questions. And we all know like the basic uh, uh, the scientific methods of 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 of, of um, formulating questions, right? And then gathering background information, and then from uh, questions and background information. So we develop hypotheses, right? Okay. And then from that, right, uh, we test our hypothesis. We do an, uh, we we conduct our analysis, and then we we came into our conclusions, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now here, so this is this is like the link, right? So uh, uh, 
everything that we do right involves some some degrees of some degrees of, of research and you know asking questions gathering information and things like that right? now okay okay um, i mentioned this like as well right so what kind of information like what kind of knowledge right what kind of uh, what kind of, of of understanding that we gained when we do uh, research right? so we could we could we could uh, frame our research as like a research for right so we think of we think of of a, a whole subject, a whole subject matter like, uh, like finding right um, uh, uh, document documenting how we 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 do our work right okay or right uh, research as a, a research through right? or we we do this as a, a way to think through like right? uh, to, to arrive at some things right? just like a Picasso, right? So he asked questions about, okay, uh, how do we actually, uh, how could we uh, uh, represent three-dimensional space, right? Okay. Okay. Not not through uh, classical perspectival techniques, right? But uh, uh, space at uh, every scale, from architecture to urban uh, scale, right? Uh, through different techniques of of of, of capturing. Uh, uh, three-dimensional conditions right or right uh, we could think about the sub a subject matter right just just like uh, critics right? since I'm a, a, in uh, criticism like so just like a uh, uh, great art and architectural historians like Wafflin or or Peter Rowe right uh, uh, think about like the way we uh, come up with the design right uh, a particular uh, design that are designs that are uh, produced in particular time and conditions right? so okay um okay uh, sim you know the procedures and then the kind of of, of, of knowledge or understanding that we could gain uh, uh, by doing our activities right? okay. Okay. okay okay now okay but in the end right okay. in our um, field right so if we are if we enter uh, the academic world, right? So our business is actually is simply this, right? We produce knowledge, right? We develop knowledge and we disseminate knowledge, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's our business, that's our, our subject matter, right? So to produce, to develop and to disseminate knowledge. Right? Uh, uh, no matter uh, small is that, is, is that uh, our contributions to, uh, to the world, right? Uh, now here, I would like to contextual, uh, contextualize a bit, right? So, uh, with my uh, with my environment, right? So in the US, right? So, um, in the academic world, right? Uh, our uh, responsi responsibilities covered three areas: so well, teaching, right? research, and service. Right? Maybe it could be similar right? to the to, uh, to, to uh, the requirement in Indonesia, like right? teaching research and services. Right? So, um, okay. so that's that's okay. But each of this, right, is uh, is actually uh, an opportunity, right, to produce and develop and disseminate knowledge. Right? So, just to give you uh, uh, like a, a like an illustration in the uh, in architecture school in the US, like right? if we apply for a teaching position, like right? so, all like uh, the the common uh common uh, uh job descriptions is always like uh, we always be asked to teach design and one course that that uh that uh, uh fit into our expertise right? so yeah uh, whatever our expertise is in 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 architecture right? we always be asked to to teach design right um, um yeah yeah uh okay and in the US, right, there are two, uh, basically there are two types of university, uh, teaching universities and, and research universities, right? but still, right? okay. uh, whatever, uh, in, each, in each type of universities, we are still asked to, to, to fulfill this requirement of teaching, research, and service. Right? Okay. Now, okay. Um, okay. So here, right? okay. uh, so, but what 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 uh, what what I'd like to to discuss a bit here is that's actually like right? so turning 
each of these components as an opportunity, opportunity for us right, to do research, to, to produce, develop, and disseminate knowledge. Like, um, nah, okay. Yeah. If I talk about, about my own research, that's actually is a very straightforward. Like it's, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, something that uh, specific. Right? But now here, maybe what I what I like to share a bit here is like how okay, um, how I uh, uh, turn right my uh, my teaching into into research. Right? Um, now, okay? so here of course, like in the US, we don't have. Uh, like a national curriculum for a school of architecture. Yes, of course, there are standards for accreditations, but you know, uh, every school, right, and develop its own, right, uh, uh, curriculum, its own uh, uh, approach to design, right. Um, there are like a, a school that's a fully uh, embrace, like say, like nowadays, like a digital technology, like Columbia, right, or school that's still, okay. Um, maintain like uh, uh, for like a weather work like a uh, uh, traditional way manual way of, of, of designing like a uh, Cooper Union like both are very prestigious right um, yeah okay uh, so there are right uh, 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 that's why right so here like uh, there are many opportunities actually right by by thinking about uh, about teaching as as, as as a way to uh conduct research right so here like okay, some of questions that 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 i uh that i always uh that i keep continuing to uh, to ask right so uh i'm in charge of of, of design foundations in my institutions right? so um that's actually the most um uh, fundamental right in 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 design education right? so to introduce right, uh, students into into this new world of, of, of design thinking, a new world of, of, of seeing uh, everything in, in graphic and visual terms, right? and not only to read, right? but also to understand and then to think and to produce right? uh, in visual terms. Right? So uh, always, right? so um, I, I, I strive to ask questions right? with, with, with my teaching. Right? So uh, how do we generate design? Right? How, Okay, media, like how, what are the agencies of media? Like how could uh, we turn like certain techniques or certain media into, into, into design? Like, um, yeah, okay. Just like uh, simple things, like the drawings, like, of course, like so uh, in design, in like a thing, uh, in, in design and architecture, in urban design, we always draw, like, yeah, but okay, what actually uh, drawing, uh, uh, do the us, right? Okay. Uh, what are the agency of drawings? What are the potentials of drawings? Right? So here, right? Uh, in one of my uh, uh, teaching and research, right? so, so of course, right? okay. if we ask what can what can what can drawings do to us, right? So of course, the next step is okay. Yeah. Look into uh, what other people and actually what 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 uh, professional uh, do, right? So. Uh, my colleagues and I found this, right? So, uh, Louis Romaki Louis, one of the uh, rising stars, uh, young architects in, in the US, right? So, that you know, they um, they mix right, different media, so they develop, develop, they, they develop drawings, like right, through different media, right? So, from uh, digital, uh, okay, digital drawings, then they print it out, right? And then trace that over, right? And then color that, scan that, right? And then uh, manipulate that digitally and print that again, right? Um, draw over it. That's why they call their, they call their, their method of drawing, right? Okay. Now, okay, okay. So, okay, so based on this, right? So the questions for us, like me and my, my colleagues, right? So now, okay, can we learn something from this? Can we, can we uh, turn this into a series of, 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 of design exercises, right? So, now, okay, from that kind of drawings, right? Okay, so, uh, the understanding of, of, of the modalities of drawings, right? Okay, that, uh, that, that could be a push, right? To uh, stimulate right, uh, designers to think about possibilities okay, in formal and, uh, and technical terms, right? Like, uh, uh, from points, lines to, to planes, right? Okay, from straight to curve, right? So, from orthogonal to, uh, to curvilinear and things like that, right? 
Um, okay, so that's 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 by exploring uh, questionings again the possibilities within uh, within techniques of of of, of drawing itself. Right? Okay. Or right, uh, drawings as a as a as a tool, right? And not only to observe, but also think to think about space, to think about uh, to think in terms of space making and space organizing, right? So uh, translations, right? Translations across uh, different media, translations across different uh, scale and dimension, right? So here, right? So um, um, yeah. one thing that I uh, experiment with here is like okay okay uh let's you know now students teach students how to draw right freehand right and then turn that into three-dimensional construct right so uh, to think about like uh, from from two-dimensional space into three-dimensional space right okay. to think about like say the, the fundamentals in design right uh like a like order like uh balance and things like that right uh, um how we capture how how can we uh, translate like right, something that gets a phenomenal right uh, like a fleeting ephemeral like right, uh, light and shadows to right? so think that into uh, okay, just like because of things about uh, space as a shallow space as a, as a layers of space right so uh, how can uh, then we think about uh, uh, our perceptions right as a way to uh, to to generate and define space right uh, um, okay. Or like a more, a more elaborate, elaborate. Uh, how if we, what if we uh, expand, right? Uh, the range of techniques and media that that we use, like the design, like right? from drawings into diagrammings, into model makings, into uh, orthographic drawings, and back into model making, and so on and so forth, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. The thing about right. Okay. So going back and forth, right? Between uh, from from observations to drawings uh, to models and then the kind of uh, spatial readings like that that could emerge out of that yeah so here right okay. so from 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 different so from um, observational drawings on the top left right into uh, three-dimensional artifacts like this right? okay. now okay. okay or okay yeah uh, how do we how, how could we uh, okay. say uh, think about like a uh, uh, geometry right geometry and and order right? and like a basic thing well, fundamental things in in design like right? geometry and order order organizations right? okay 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 um, now so here it's not only the, you know how can we uh, uh, Teach right, uh, skills right, okay, uh, in uh, orthographic representation, but also right, okay, as a way for uh, us to think about again, right, to think about space, right, uh, how to construct space, right. Okay. Now, okay, a series of of of, of, of explorations, right, that we that we engage here, right. So from 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 a like an ordinary object, right, uh, into a way to to generate design like right? so uh, like now right so some of us um, explore right so everyday life everyday object as 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 a fundamental uh, um, influence in our, that inform our daily life right so okay from from early on right yeah? how do we engage with ordinary uh, everyday object like this but to see that beyond beyond uh, what we uh, perceive directly, and then uh, turn that into something that um, uh, more in terms of abstractions and and generate rules uh, for for designing that. Right? Um, yeah. So, so here, right? So what we do, what I do, uh, of course, when I say here, right? So uh, we always think uh, we always teach collab collaboratively, like right? so, me and my team, right? So, okay, it's going back and forth, right? So. From this, like so, first iterations, like we go back and and then we 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 discuss the result and then we refine that, like so. It's always like that. Like so, here's the opportunity, like so, uh, teaching is an opportunity for us not only to teach but also to to ask questions, to experiment, like to see uh, the result and then like um, do and uh, make a hypothesis and then uh, refine that, right? Okay. Um, 
Okay. Um, now, okay. Yeah. Now here, like, um, maybe sorry if if my talk is like a uh, that's a heavy bias in uh, into architecture, right? So, so here, right? So today, right? So we're we're moving into more like a rule based design, right? Uh, parameter uh, parametric design is basically uh, simply rule based design, right? So, okay, okay. Um, how do we how do we introduce right, the notions of rules? Like rules simply means like parametric design simply means like there are uh, simple basic elements and there are a set of grammar or rules that 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 uh, that, uh, that govern the relationship within the elements. Okay, so here ex explorations in in how okay uh, we could um, okay uh, as a designer right, so, uh, develop right, our 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 thoughts, right, in, in with rules and, and parameters, right? okay. okay, okay, and from that, right, okay. uh, going back again, right, okay. so from rules, parameters, how, how then um, we read spaces from, from the artifacts that we create to uh, rules and parameters, right, so here, right, so um, here's a linking between uh, design and representations and how representations are not simply a, a thing in itself, right? And the end in itself, but a representation as a way, right? To investigate, right? Again, here, the keywords, uh, to investigate, right? To, to ask questions about space, right? Whether that's, that's, that's uh, through um, orthographic uh, conventions or more like a more intuitive phenomenal uh, exploration of space. Um, now, nah, okay. At the end of the day, right, when, when we design, it's like uh, what most important is like what actually uh, our uh, design does or what space do to us. Right? So again, right? so um, okay. Now nah, here, right, the models, not as models, not as uh, the end result of the design process, but actually models as a, as a as a starting point to ask questions, but about uh, spatial experience, spatial perceptions. Like, uh, now, okay, okay. This is like everything, right? Like, okay. And the question so is it how, right? So, I mean, the methodology to to uh, to uh, uh, explore, right? Uh, spatial effect or spatial conditions or spatial perceptions that uh, a design uh, produce. Um. Okay. Okay. Since I'm also in uh, uh, history, right? History theory of architecture, right? So the link, right? The link between design and, and history, right? So um, what kind of reading, right? From, from say, uh, examples of great uh, work in architecture, right? So, uh, okay, so here's the, like the question of, 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 of the ability, the, the cognitive, the cognitive uh, ability, right, to read right, okay, work of architecture. Right? So the kind of uh, different uh, formal and uh, formal and spatial uh, principle and organizations that that uh, we could perceive and we could read, right, we could recognize, right, from from examples of great uh, work of architecture. Right? So uh, you know, okay, asking questions, right? so. What if we read simply purely as lines? What if we read them purely as 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 volumes, or purely as a series of spaces, or purely as a uh, as an arrangement of of materialities? Okay, okay, okay. Um, or right, uh, exploring uh, okay. Uh, the tectonic qualities or, or, or the making of things, right? the techniques and materials, right? uh, like this. Right? So, um, yeah, okay, and linking back then, uh, linking back between uh, making and, and rules. Right? So, uh, how could we uh, normalize, right? meaning, uh, meaning uh, extract like rules and and uh, principles like right, from making things right? so okay, of course like uh, it's from from uh, something that's intuitive into more uh, rigorized and organized like this like, uh, now here actually right? so, uh, how do how could we 
how could we uh, say like uh, generate like a plane out of a single modules and then from planes turn that into space and then what kind of spatial conditions that we could uh, generate uh, within that space by playing with uh, materials and joints and uh, connections okay. No. Okay. Okay. Um, since my uh, institution is a uh, originally right so before uh, before yeah uh, it was a polytechnic before before it, it became a university right so that's why like uh, my, uh, originally uh, the architecture department uh, in my place is is, is um, put um, heavy emphasis on on its technical uh, 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 instruction like right? and then uh, we have one of the like most uh, complete and and, and advanced uh, work series of shops like with shop metal shops like so now okay? how can we and the, the questions that came to my mind like so how can how can we uh, generate like uh, design like right? design principles like uh, uh, out of engagement with 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 tools with with explorations of materials right so uh, working in wood shop right not simply as a way to produce um, an artifact right? but as a way to explore right design possibilities from the understanding of of using tools and and materials right so so here right um okay, a series of translations from observation drawings in the diagrammings into uh, how to translate that right okay? by uh, so by uh, using the filter of, of the techniques of, of working with woods and the uh, and the properties of woods like to uh, to generate a a, a topographic uh, uh, design right okay based on uh, uh, phenomenal drawings like right? uh, some examples like so that uh, uh, I developed over over years right um, and then like uh, when we talk about making, okay, uh, about details, architectural details, right? So, if we learn about architectural details, like, uh, of course, first, okay, how to do how to do that correctly, okay? but then, can we translate that across scales, across different contexts, right? So, uh, from exploring a joinery like this into a a possibility of creating a an architectural space like that, okay. 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 So here are here are some examples, okay, um, of of this kind of explorations. Right? Um, now, nah, okay. Now nah, there are many ways of of of, of doing research. Right? So we could start by um, uh, setting up a methodology, right? and then from that collecting data, or the other way around, right? Uh, gathering data and then let the data. Uh, a guide the kind of methodology in which we we, we conduct our research. Right? So, um, for me, like I prefer like my my preference is always like gathering data first and then from 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 data. Like so, what's the most appropriate uh, methodology that 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 uh, might be uh, relevant? Like right? now, okay, if we talk about uh, uh, teaching, like right? so, of course, like so, there are. Um, uh, we need to understand, right? So the root, right? The 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 the, con the models that exist in in design pedagogy, right? So um, basically, right? So we have like a four basic uh, uh, models in design, right? Academic models, like they call the workshop, right? Craftsmanship and engineering, like a uh, um, the, the Bauhaus, right? And then social sciences that emerge uh, in the uh, 50s. This is basically design that rely on on uh, user feedback, on uh, post occupancy evaluations, right? uh, heavy on uh, on programming. Okay, okay, okay. So the academic, uh, you know, academic traditions in in academic means, right? So design based on certain dogma and principles, like uh, equal the boss or check on and then of course like in the 20th century as a reactions uh, against uh, the Bauhaus like uh, sorry against the uh, equal the boss or like the uh, the kind of design pedagogy that's 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 a fall from from learning by doing like, uh, like uh, the Bauhaus and the Russian Fukutemas okay? 
and then of course over the years there are many ways like and uh, in which uh, people uh, uh, develop like uh, design pedagogy like uh, uh, Columbia and Cooper Union like um, uh, uh, John Haddock like on and um, and Cornell Cornell model like right? now okay um, this but then like uh, of course like so. Uh, research, like research in design, yield like, that you know from from uh, from Ecole de Beaux Arts to Bauhaus to Fukutemas. Now, now in the in the seventies, like we have uh, the Cooper Union model and the Columbia model. Now in the eighties and in the nineties and so on and so forth, we have we have many types of many typology of of, of design pedagogy. Okay. Um, and of course, uh, underneath of that, like the two, the way of, 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 of design thinking, heuristics uh, and hermeneutics. Okay. Now, just this, 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 this like a, okay, like a, like an example, like right? the um, gathering information and then like um, the kind of of of, of background like okay? informations that we need to know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, in my own research itself, right? So, um, you know. Of to me, right? So there are two ways in which in which we design, right? So it could be axiomatic when we start to asking to ask questions about about okay, and the fundamentals in design, right? So about geometry, about ordering systems, and so on and so forth. Or okay, uh, methodical, right? So following established principles, like the nine square problems, is a methodical way of of, of designing, and both are both are with our uh, valid, right? So axiomatic is more like explorations, like um, uh, um, like Herzog de Muren, right? So uh, people who 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 uh, who start by doing something and then uh, came up with with uh, certain design design approaches. Right? Okay. Now, okay, okay. Another opportunity, right? So, it's in my own experience, like how to turn like service uh, into research, right? So, yeah, for service means like um, in 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 uh, in uh, American terminology, like so, uh, what can what can we contribute to school, to department, uh, to community, right? to, uh, to to the profession, and so on and so forth, right? So, um, okay. It's just an example from from our own service. Like so, um, as a member of, of Indonesian diaspora, so we are you know uh, we are asked by Bapenas like, so to to contribute. Like, so what can we do? Like, so what, how can diaspora help for uh, educations in in Papua? Like, so I was at, you know and I was I was I was involved in in Indonesian diaspora. So of course, like um, yeah, okay. Uh, higher education, like so, uh, as an architect, like so. Then, uh, yeah, we went there. We 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 visit uh, schools in in Papua, like so. But then I turned that into like my own questions, like so. You know, if you talk about uh, but about uh, of course, like so there are there are uh, tasks that I have to perform that I fulfill that I have to produce as as a part of of. Uh, of the service for for indonesian diaspora but also uh, take that as an opportunity for me right, to, to, to pursue one of my questions in in modernity and identity right so yeah okay so from this right so okay um i ask questions but what like educational space right in in um in a country like indonesia right so and then you know, look, look looking back at, at historical uh, examples, like the, how the Dutch uh, built schools in Indonesia. Right? But then, in our time, right, everything became very uh, standardized. Right? Um, uh, for like a better word, like uh, everything is, is 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 based on like a banal typology. Like if we if we, if we borrow Re Rem uh terminology, right? okay. but then like the way we express. Okay, uh, the express uh, formally, like right? uh, uh, place and locations and identity, right? Uh, you know, the, you know, and then the way we, we construct buildings, right? so all of this, all, all these factors, like right? so inform, right? Okay, um, uh, to me, right? so it's part of my ongoing research on on uh, modernity, identity, right? So. 
a contemporary uh, building typology, right? so the banal banal typology, the right? junk space, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, okay. 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 So this, those are um, okay. some some uh, uh, in my own way, right? So how I how I turn, right? Uh, uh, things that I do into research opportunities, right? But in the end of the day, right? So here, what matter is. Uh, uh, research as a craftsmanship, right? Uh, uh, and, uh, and this is where, where, uh, where I refer to uh, the scholars uh, Richard Sennett, right? He's a philosopher, right? Um, uh, cultural commentaries, like, um, her, um, um, in the craftsmen, he, 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 he goes back to the basic questions, right? So, how do we how do we how do we def, how we develop our knowledge right? so he argues here right? so doing things doing things properly it's not only uh, about uh, developing our skills but also doing things properly like right? eventually like right? uh, could uh, pave way for for development of new knowledge right? first new knowledge and uh, and more importantly like right? uh, uh, by being a good craftsman, right? we could also transform life, right? uh, social life and civil life, right? uh, craftsmen. Right? Um, um, okay, okay. So, okay. so if we do just like that, right? so uh, in the end of the day, right? so if we do, if we do this, it's all, it's, it's, the question is about like, a, a, you know, by doing it again and again, right? So we could improve, right, our skills in doing research, and that's not only about like uh, the uh, the procedures of methodology, but also okay, the knowledge that we gain, right, uh, uh, along the way, right, uh, by doing things like that, right. And indeed, that's 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 one part of my okay, um, my argument, right. Um, Okay, in my teaching and my research, like in my service, like uh, uh, craftsmanship, like so, uh, how do how do we uh, de develop knowledge like, from doing things, learning by doing, like uh, uh, in architecture, like Jean Jean Prouvé, like uh, uh, instead of, of of descending something from a blueprint, like so he started uh, descending by learning how to uh, join uh, metals, how to connect. Uh, how to connect uh, two pieces of metals, and then from that, like uh, how to, uh, how these two uh, the connections between vertical and horizontal member could define a space and space of building and so on and so forth. Like indeed, like so, cross uh, in the crossman's like, um, uh, this is net talk about okay uh, how our ancestors start by yeah, uh, developing the techniques of weaving, right, uh, uh, and then from uh, from weaving, right? Uh, connect, uh, connecting um, two orthogonal lines, okay? Then translated, then transposed into the questions how to connect two two wooden pieces, right? Uh, we start to have like uh, orthogon, ortho, orthogonal connections, and from that, right? Uh, translated, right? Uh, trans, transposed into the principle of organizing cities, like grids, the grids, and so on and so forth, right? So here, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Now, yeah, yeah. so now, so now talk about right, knowledge from, from doing things, right? so a dialogue between practice and thinking. So, so when, when we do something, right, okay, uh, we always, okay, uh, it's not only doing something, right, but okay, we need to go back, reflect, and think what we do, and okay, ask questions about what we do, and then the possibility of, of doing that uh, better, right? Okay. Okay, okay, so three conditions uh, that are required, right, according to the sense like skills through bodily practice, right? So, uh, so if we, if we develop our uh, research as uh, our habit, right? Okay, I guess this is just like a, it's so like a, uh, uh, let's say we're developing like a haptic knowledge, like right? doing things repeatedly, right? Just like we learn how to play piano, how we learn, yeah, learn how to swim, how to ride a bike, right? How to, uh, Cook perhaps, right? Okay. Just, uh, just we we are getting better by just doing it again and again and again. A bodily practice, right? but is but we also have to uh, have to imagine, right? We have the power. We need to have the power of imagination, like how to uh, how to do things better, right? So, 
if you do th do something like this, if you do this, if you ask questions, like, and then we we test something, like how could we uh, do that uh, that differently, right? Okay. And then sustain efforts, right? Like, um, um, like, of course, like uh, as a teacher, we always say like, uh, what important is not uh, the result, but like and the process, right? So this is like a system for like doing things again and again and again, right? Now, okay, and that's okay. Uh, and the heart of that is the engagements with things, tools, and procedures right? that could lead to that could lead to leaps of imaginations, right? So or or the betterment of our knowledge, the betterment of our our life, right? Okay. Um, in the end of the day, right? So this engagement is about like a techniques of experience, right? the how we do things okay. and then techniques ex experience with will will we lead into the craft experience how if we know how to do things then the craft experience is like okay how could we you know uh achieve something's fulfilling right okay. from 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 doing things right okay. then indeed right okay so that's 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 um uh, what Benjamin said, right, in uh, in this essay, right, the storyteller, right. So um, we all know, right. So just like in 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 Java, for example, right. So if we if we listen and watch watch Wayang, we we know right, the story, right. But what matter for us is what kind of how the how the storyteller or the puppeteer right, uh, uh, tells the story, and then right, okay, uh, what kind of of wisdom, right. Okay? That a that's 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 you know I, I like wine so that's what's what's different is a good dalang from from an ordinary dalang the kind of wisdom that 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 could be uh, that could be conveyed through, through the story right okay um the same thing too right okay so uh, uh yeah when 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 uh, senate talk about craftsmen the craftsmen is not only talking about uh. Carpenters or bricklayers, but actually every every profession, like uh, uh, doctors, um, medical doctors, uh, uh, computer uh, programmer, and so on and so forth, architects, uh, urban planner, designers, and so on and so forth. Right? Okay. It's about okay, uh, uh, the way we doing things, like how we, the way we do we go about like uh, uh, doing what 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 we need to do. Like, and then from that, right, okay, do it again and again and again, but but with with uh, with with um with uh, motivations like to always okay, uh, improve, right? Okay? And then again, okay, that's what what Benjamin said. In the end of the day, right, so the wisdom, right? Okay, so that's how we uh, we could grow, right, as as researchers over time, right? We 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 keep asking questions and we do that properly, and then we will be able to. To, to develop wisdoms in 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 what we do, right? and then right yeah, wisdom right allowed us to 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 apply right yeah, in different uh, our our knowledge right, in different content in different contexts right? and in in on varieties of of, of, of problems. Right? Yeah. So in the end of the day, right? Okay. Actually, the the heart of of, of a Senate argument is like um, the distinctions between animal laborants and homo faber, right? Uh, animal laborants, right? So just doing things for the sake of doing things, repetitive and mechanical, right? And homo faber, right? So when we start to elevate, right, from doing things into mental, mental activity, mental and conceptual activities, right? Okay. Yeah. And this is like so uh, we could do this as simply as animal labyrinths, like uh, just simply as a job, right? Or we could do that as our way of life, our and indeed, right? Okay? One of the uh, most important uh, philosophers of, of modern life said that actually work right, is a way for us humanity to actualize ourselves, right? Okay? Yeah, right. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say here is so the 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 distinction between labor and work, right? Okay, of course, okay. uh, Richard Sennett uh, is uh, was a student of Hannah Arendt, right? Uh, one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century. Second, when she argued about the distinction between labor and work, right? Okay, labor is simply you know, doing things mechanically, when work, when we start to uh, make our life fulfilling, right? By 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 doing something that is like uh, not only uh, 
materially or physically uh, uh, productive, but also like, uh, uh, elevate us, I guess, a human being. Right? And we, if we talk about Hannah Heron, right? So of course, I guess it's, it's her influence. Like, uh, uh, we could read that in so many, many, many thinkers in, in, in many, you know, of course, in architecture, urban design, urban planning, social science, like, uh, in architecture, right? so Kenneth Frampton, um, it's basically want you know his his whole um, uh, intellectual agenda is about combining like, Aaron's thinking with 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 that of those of uh, uh, the Frankfurt School. Like, so uh, that's why like, so he talks a lot about labor work and architecture. Like, so no, but here like, so in a nutshell, like, so uh, okay, you know how can we how can we uh, you know, treat or approach research as a work, right? Not simply as a labor, but as a work, right? As a part of our daily life, right? That we do uh, that every day, uh, daily, you know, all the time, constantly, right? Uh, and not only uh, research with capital R, but uh, but more importantly, right? Research in every, 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 everything that we do, right? Uh, with with lowercase r, right? Yeah. Okay. Now. So simple, right? So uh, procedures, right? asking questions, right? gathering information, right? uh, uh, making connections within information, draw hypothesis, experiment, analysis, okay? analysis, and then you know draw some conclusions. Right? Okay. okay, and then if I relate that the 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 the, the, the Senate, right? so engagements with things, tools, and procedures, right? so things and tools and procedures, right? and uh, in in doing research, right? so some you know some some of my own um, yeah okay my own thought right so you always observe right okay? take notes read 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 right okay? take notes from observations take notes from readings and reflect on what we read what on on what we uh, observe right okay? collaborate with other things right okay? no man is an island right okay? uh, think outside the box right okay, yeah, okay. And then, right, uh, be curious, right? Just like a cat, right? Always, always, always want to know, right? Like, uh, okay, nothing wrong with that, right? Okay, okay. And then, like, right, uh, live and breathe research, right? So, uh, to be frank, right, the biggest compliment that I ever uh, got from my students, like when, you know, when, when, when he, he, like, uh, make a comment about me, right? So he lives and breathes architecture, right? So, like that, right? So, so make that a part of, 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 of everything, like right? so research or, or design or architecture, like right? so something that you know um, we do not only for living, right? But but okay, we live that we live for uh, we, we live by okay, asking questions, by always asking questions, always gathering information, why always um, double check okay? uh, facts and information that we got. Right? Okay. No, okay. Now as a postscript, right? Um, um, currently, I'm you know uh, visiting my family here in Indonesia, and I pick up uh, uh, some books from from Seno Gumiraji Darwa, and I think it's very very uh, it's very good examples. Right, so his uh, this is like a collections of his writing, which is simply like a snapshot snapshots of of urban uh, phenomena in 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 Jakarta, in Jogja, in in big cities in Indonesia. Right? so he always started by you know something simple, and then. Uh, he really did with, with some other things, and then he 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 analyzed that. Like of course, like he always used uh, French structural uh, post structuralism and and some semiotic uh, approaches. Like we could always debate the methodology, but you know it's it's fair. Right, like, so we could we could disagree. Right, we we could disagree with methodology, but like um, uh, what matter here? Right, uh, is 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 the habit? Right, yeah, okay. Uh, when we do research, it doesn't have to be like a something big. Right, but just just like him, like sitting. Uh, in one afternoon, like um, um, taking photograph of of Scala Nova Jakarta, and suddenly, right? So that led him to asking questions about okay, what what you know what kind of uh, uh, you know life happened there, right? And he connected with other with other uh, informations, and he analyzed that and he draw conclusions, and then he repeated that again with other observations. And I think it's like you know in this. In the stream, architecture, urban design, urban planning, social science. Right? So this is like a very, uh, very, 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 very timely example. Right? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
um, yeah, just uh, uh, just like that. Right? So, uh, okay. take notes. Right? Okay, observe and then like, uh, uh, ask questions. Right? Uh, uh, good if we could publish that, but at least right? Okay. Yeah, we don't have to publish it right away. Right? But but develop that as as a as a body of body of 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 information that that eventually is going to. Uh, uh, to contribute to, to our uh, development in our intellectual development. Okay. And I think uh, with that, I'm, I'm going to, to end my, uh, my talk. Right now. Okay. Thank you. If, uh, if you have questions, I can, uh, yeah. thanks. All right. Thank you very much for uh, Dr. Arif. It was an uh, insightful presentation. It somehow reminds me to my undergraduate program. So, yeah, it was a bit difficult for me as a, as an architecture student to switch a little bit from a design process to try um, a research research process uh, in the end of my uh, study. So here we already have. I mean, um, we have participants mostly from um, the backgrounds of architecture and design. And um, yeah, from the presentation of Dr. Arif, um, we learned that curiosity is the stepping stone, is the, uh, the first point to start a research. And um, yeah, it was a, a wonderful joke that uh, has li nine lives. So that's why probably the, this uh, the cat's curiosity is higher than any other animals. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, doing research is um, kind of uh, asking questions on what, how, and why. And um, in principle, in general, uh, research includes um, not only asking questions, but also you have to um, inform the background information, uh, the hypothesis, if you could have it, um, and then the experiments, uh, analysis, and conclusion. So it will end up with uh, knowledge uh, productions, knowledge development, and also uh, knowledge dis disseminations. And uh, the other things that Dr. Arif mentions was related to pedagogical context of research um, and the typologies of design pedagogy. So in terms of design pedagogy, you can have um, case problem, for example, uh, analogy, analytical models and so on and so forth. And yeah, uh, do not, stop asking questions is uh, the key for uh, starting a research. You know, uh, probably in uh, architecture uh, things from the architecture side, it is a bit difficult for us to, um, to start how to ask, to ask the questions. So probably this is the time for you participants to um, give or to um, yeah, to, to, to try to ask uh, anything that you uh, want to ask to our speaker. So I would like to check whether we already have uh, questions participants. I think we have one so far from um, Basuki Winarno from ITS. May I invite Basuki Winarno to? Hey, All right. Uh, could, uh, All right. Thank you. Apologies for any inconvenience. All right. I would like to invite uh, Basuki Winarno if you want to ask directly to our speaker, please. Are you still with us? I think Pak Basuki is still with us. Hello, Pak Basuki. Yes, thank you. Uh, Dr. Arif. So the uh, thing is uh, using the material uh, uh, composite uh, with the green uh, characteristic. And what do you think about uh, implementation in, in 
macam uh, culture uh, uh, of individual with the high potential of the hazardous uh, disaster in the Netherlands because uh, as you know that Indonesia mostly using the uh, like uh, stone and and uh, other cement. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Doctor, did you get the questions? Uh, because uh, the the voice is not so clear. Uh, I think uh, Pak Basuki was asked uh, ask about the construction materials related to the designs of um, buildings in our country because our country is uh, having highly risk uh, in terms of natural disaster. So Pak Arif um, was asking, uh, what do you think about the use of uh, this light material or uh, the green material in, in our country? Yes, I uh, think some very good questions. Um, um, now, uh, we could think about uh, constructions in terms of, of direct application, like so, um, say wood or steel, or we could ask questions, so be, what behind that? What's the principles, right? So what's the principles, say, if we're, you know, uh, if, we're, if, we're exp if we explore, like, so like what I did, like, so we explore. So actually, like, so, uh if i'm if, if, if i'm not mistaken right so uh in my in the exercise that uh that i developed right uh, with wood it's not so much about how to develop wooden architectures but actually okay uh about exploration of materials exploration of techniques right so uh how do we work with tools uh uh that we used to work with wood, right? How do we test the limits and the potentials of wood? Right? Okay. Now, okay. That's actually instilling the curiosity. It's not. Uh, it's not so much about now. Then they have to design a uh, wooden architecture, right? But again, okay, but the the rigor and the logic of testing materials, te te testing tools, and testing techniques. Right? Now, now, okay. Uh, of course, like, so the, uh, the the expectation, of course, is like so it's going to be long, long term expectations. Like, so the, that we could develop the wisdom of, of now. Right? So uh, this is okay, that we need to test the limits of materials. Now, if we're going to say work with metal, now what what kind of, of methodology? What, how can we test the limits of 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 metals? How can we test the limits of concrete how can we test the limits and possibilities of of stone for example right so um now okay of course when we join woods okay wood joinery is based on the properties of woods right okay now okay so if if we uh if 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 we explore right the properties of certain materials and then okay we would of course, the expectation that then we would be able to explore possibilities of connecting that kind of materials or multiple materials right? with design intent, right? Not so much with technical intents, but okay, how could you know? Okay, how could we create textures? How could we create depth? How could we create, uh, say, transparency, translucency using wood or using concrete or using uh, metal or using stone or using uh, uh, bricks okay. um, and that's 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 actually the intent right so uh, uh, yes there are like uh, we could learn uh, specific skills with tools and materials right? but we could also look beyond specific skills into uh, uh, the principles behind that right? just like uh, like senate stories like the the origin of 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 
uh, knowledge in design, right? So, you know, just like Semper talk about the origin of architectures in, in the textile, right? It's about weaving, right? So weaving is about actually, basically is about connecting uh, vertical and horizontal lines, multiple vertical uh, the lines from lines into planes. And then like our ancestors learned, like applied transpose, like the, the word is transpose, transpose the knowledge, okay? Into connecting two uh, wooden pieces, right? okay? And then uh, over over centuries, like our our ancestors again, right, uh, transpose uh, mortise and tenon, right, uh, into principles and organizing settlements. That's why, right, uh, early settlements tend to be based on grids, right, because it's always connecting. It's about connections between vertical and uh, vertical and horizontal uh, lines, right, and then that's why, like, um, street intersections would always be uh, tend to be like the hub or like uh, uh, you know if in architecture in architecture of the city according to Kevin Lynch I guess it's about the uh, uh, the five elements of city like uh, the uh, the hubs of, of, of the, the intersections of 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 of, of path tend to be a uh, uh, public space right yeah yeah okay. so uh, yeah, so it's not, uh, yes, of course, there's the twofold, right? Twofold here is like a, the, the specific technical skills, but also, okay, the, 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 the possibilities for leap of imagination, right? To, to, uh, to use that as, as a way to, to, to think what if, right? Uh, always, okay? um, one thing I forget to mention, like, so it's always as, you know, it's just, um, not just like uh, uh, the habit of asking what if questions, what if, you know, okay, what if I, it's like since we're talking about materials like at MIT, right? So they have a, a, a like a motto, right? The abuse of materials, the misuse of materials, right? So, okay, what can we do if we misuse materials? Uh, use materials in a very unconventional ways. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully, hope 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 that 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 answers your questions. All right, thank you, Dr. Arif Pa Basuki. Is that answer your questions? Uh, Dr. Arif. All right, uh, thank you, Pa Basuki. All right, uh, let's move on to another questions. Uh, do we have another direct questions from the participants? I am inviting uh, all the participants to uh, ask questions to the speaker. You can unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself probably because here we have participants not only from ITS, as far as I know, we also have from a UITM and another universities. Any other questions? If not, probably I would like to ask some questions because it was so interesting. In the beginning, Dr. Arif also mentions how his life as a lecturer, because uh, here as a lecturer, we, we also have the three kind of services, uh, the teaching and um, research and community services. But I believe uh, the situation is quite different between Indonesia and uh, in the US. Because here we mostly uh, do or occupy with teaching. So research on um, very, very limited time we have to do research um, and also publications. So yeah, publication is um, the, the impact of, I mean, the results of the uh, research. And uh, yeah, how, how do you balance um, the life of a lecturer? I mean, uh, what, what could you suggest for us as a lecturer, as, re as a researcher in Indonesia to uh, try to balance a decision? Yes, that's a very, very good and difficult question. <laughs> yeah, I know, I think so. Well, uh, with my limited knowledge, like so, you know, from from my conversations with with uh, my colleagues, like uh, my you know my friends here in Indonesia, like so, yeah. Um, to be frank, like so. Well, okay, our you know it's our it's a, you know in in the US it's, it's, a, it's a package, like so you, even your 
I mean, you get the job, right? So the, you have to, you know, uh, and this is what you do. And that's, that's for lack of it, like, you know, to be very frank, right? So your salary includes, you know, all of that. Like, so you don't, you know, there's no such thing as, you know, extra, extra money for doing research and things like that. Like, so, so at least, you know, um, this is job security for us. Like, so, uh, uh, so that's why, like, um, uh, you could do research and then, um, if I'm not mistaken, Rex, uh, uh, so you know the 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 job load is also different, Rex. Right? So in the US, Rex, like, so you have like a you know certain percentage for 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 teaching, certain for percentage for research, certain percentage for uh, for um, for service, Rex. Right? So, and then um, what count as teaching is also a completely different thing from from what kind of stitching in Indonesia. But yeah, anyway, like so, um, uh, the way I balance that is like, okay, so uh, this, uh, uh, I treat, like, so I treat my, my teaching as, as a, as my research and my laboratory, like, so, uh, just, just like what I present here, like, so, uh, okay. Uh, I always ask questions, like, right? so, how to design, you know, okay. um, there are many ways to, uh, to design. There's no right answer to design, right? And, um, and if you think about design and I think also in urban, urban realm, right? So the relationship between ideas and techniques, right? So uh, can techniques be, be, be a, a, a way, right? A, a means to generate design or a plan, right? So uh, it's not, yeah, one way to do that is right? there's a technique, there's a result, but you know, or the or or you know, we could also generate design and plan from 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 questioning the techniques, right? So, um, technology, right? So we are in the middle of so big paradigm shifts, right? Uh, uh, with uh, with digital technology, right? So that's also a like a, a possibility, right? I think there's a the very big opportunities for 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 research, not only. Uh, research about pedagogy, but also research about everything, about, about design, about planning, um, social media, right? So the way I teach, like right? the, uh, you know, with, you know, five years ago, it's, a com you know, it's completely different kids from, from, from today, right? So like five years ago, right? So still, you know, it's, uh, students are not, not much different from five years before, but when I reflect on my my teaching experience now, like so, uh, you know, five, you know, now is you know, even three years ago. It's just a completely different, different, different uh, uh, generations. Like right? the way kids think to this, is 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 completely different. Like right? so, that's also a thing. Like right? uh, to me, like right? that 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 is, that is a very big opportunity for 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 or research, like so, um, yeah. Like so to me, like so, the way I balance that is like you know, to, to turn, turn, like to turn my teaching and my 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 service as 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 a as research, research, research opportunities, and um, yeah, there are research about designs. There are research about architecture. There are also research about pedagogy. Like so, yeah, we could, we could, we could, we could. We could we could uh, select our, our 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 track right, but yeah, there are always uh, possibilities of, of for that. Right? Yeah. Hope yeah, hope hope, hope that uh, that that answer your questions. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So the key words uh, is creating your opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> great answers. <laughs> All right, thank you, Doctor Arif. So yeah, uh, okay. Let's move on to the participants. Uh, any participants would like uh, to ask questions? Uh, probably you may also uh, ask in Bahasa Indonesia. It's okay to make uh, the discussion more interactive. Um, silakan yang ingin bertanya dalam Bahasa Indonesia dipersilahkan. Um, Apakah ada? Saya yakin untuk mahasiswa S2, S3, um, this would be the starting points for you to um, start to ask. Um, coba bertanya begitu ya, uh, 
menanyakan kira-kira apa yang bisa uh, menjadi poin um, riset dari Bapak dan Ibu yang ada di sini. Um, if not, probably I can continue. I mean, after doing a research, we also uh, usually end up with publications, but I also understand that somehow it's kind of difficult to publish um, in an architecture field. Uh, I think you, you also agree with, with this. So um, yeah, uh, do you also uh, think uh, that hard to publish um, our work in architectural fields? Or yeah, there's still still way uh, to publish our research uh, even though we work in something uh, that is intuitive, uh, if I may say design is a bit more um, intuitive uh, in comparison to, um, let's say, a technical or engineering field. Uh, do you agree with this, uh, Dr. Arif? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, finding good publications are so, are so difficult, right? So, uh, yeah, like, so this this well, like the old like the old um, uh, maybe like a cliche like just keep doing that like just keep doing it like so uh, you know you may get rejected like but that this is part of life like so yeah um, uh, maybe to get into the like a you know. Uh, of course, like uh, in 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 our streams, maybe we don't have like a nature general of nature, right? So like a very like, but but uh, uh, well, maybe it's a bit it's a bit different, right? So there, right? So it's not people do do not so much concerns with with say uh, um, uh, like the like uh, the uh, the, the the publisher, right? So as long as you publish, right? That's 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 that uh, that would be uh, appreciated as as a contribution to knowledge, right? So yeah, I know, I know. It's a different 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 pressure, different different culture from Indonesia and, and uh, with the US, right? So there's this like there's much more appreciate appre appreciation as long as you publish, as long as not you know just like you know. Uh, very obscure publisher, right? So, but as long as you publish regularly, right? Uh, um, in uh, something that's some in a, a in a in media that is uh, uh, that that reach the international audience, uh, and that's just fine, right? So, uh, uh, like say, right? So, like cannot frame them, right? So, he never publish in like a very you know like a uh, like certain journals, like, but he he keep up he keep publish uh kind of Frampton or or even you know Charles Jenks in architecture. Like, so they just they just publish they just publish writing and eventually people people will 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 uh, will notify you will 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 be aware of you. Right? So that's uh, just first first thing first is just just get out there and and make your voice heard. Right? And then you know make our voice heard and our uh we got exposure and that's 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 what matter right? Yeah. right uh thank you so much dr arif uh here we got um interesting questions from fian uh, so fian is asking how to maintain how to keep um, the curiosity how to maintain the patience your passion dr arif until you come to this this point Ya, um, <laughs> pertanyaan apa sahaja, mempertahankan rasa ingin tahu, passion keinginan. Ia ya, penting uh, buat teman-teman uh, postgraduate student ni, apa yang baru mulai ini ya? <laughs> uh, mungkin agak romantis ya, cintailah. <laughs> um, seperti bedanya labor and work, right? Kalau kita treat that uh, 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 memperlakukannya menempatkannya sebagai work right? so, ingat gampangnya gini aja kalau 
kalau di Amerika ada ada idiom like a flipping burger in McDonald. Like, so kalau kita masak di McDonald itu kan cuma kerja, kan cuma labor, right? Ya, enggak enggak ada enggak ada satisfaction-nya. Ya, tapi kalau kalau kita masak buat orang yang kecil cintai, mau impress, mau ya itu kita melakukannya dengan passion, dengan dengan rasa senang, right? So, jadi jadi awalnya ya cintailah yang kalau anda kalau anda masuk graduate school ya kalau pertanyaan pertama apakah anda benar-benar ingin melakukan itu apakah anda benar-benar suka urban design apakah anda benar-benar suka social science apakah anda benar-benar suka desain kalau enggak lari aja enggak, enggak ada gunanya karena 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 graduate school itu like blood sweat and tears right so banyak frustrasinya banyak ya ya kita semua yang 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 uh, yang graduate school mesti pernah punya 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 frustrasi punya kehilangan bukan cuma akademik kali ya pasti ada sesuatu dalam dalam hidup kita yang 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 uh, yang hilang ya karena kita 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 fokus pada pada studi ya makanya ke, uh, uh, pertanyaan pertama apakah anda berada, berada di jalur yang anda anda cintai dan anda sukai kalau kalau enggak ya cari uh, Steve Jobs, right? uh, the late Steve Jobs from uh, Apple, right? dia dia bilang ya, salah satu ya, satu satu nasihat yang yang di Amerika ini sangat sampai diputar di YouTube sampai 55 juta kali ya. Hidup itu pendek, jangan hidup hidup orang lain. Temuilah passionmu. Kalau sekarang gue temu, temu, cari lagi, cari lagi, cari lagi. Ya, uh, ya, yeah, uh, Ya, ya, ya itu passion. Ya, ya, memang anda harus cinta. Kalau enggak, ya, ya pergi aja. Ya, cari, cari yang benar-benar anda, anda suka. Ya, jangan, 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 jangan takut untuk ganti, 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 ganti arah, ganti tujuan. Ya, hidup itu cuma sekali. Ya, jadi, jadi jangan, jangan sia-siakan. Uh, uh, tapi juga uh, uh, apply. Itu. Makanya saya suka sekali baca Seno Gumiro, right? karena, karena dia, dia berbicara tentang pop art, right? uh, uh, pop culture. Right? Uh, Uh, sinetron, right? tapi dia bisa meng, me, me, mengkaitkannya dengan 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 uh, apa ya uh, social and cultural forces. Right? Dia bicara tentang reklama, tentang baliho, tentang uh, makanan, tapi ayam. Jadi dia ada 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 chapter tentang ayam 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 peternak. Tapi dia bisa mengkaitkannya. Jadi uh, jangan jangan berhenti sebagai sesuatu yang dibaca, tapi Uh, uh, kaitkan dengan 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 uh, dengan dengan uh, uh, kenyataan ya, ya saya uh, uh, architecture right? so, architecture kan cuma sebenarnya kan bukan masalah uh, mendesain bangunan architecture itu, uh, itu tentang uh, kalau Hans Hollin bilang everything is architecture architecture is but, uh, tentang men- mendesain ruang tentang mem- Mendesain ruang itu apa? Membuat kita uh, for like a better bahagia di dalam sebuah ruang ya. Jadi uh, 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 terus berlatih ya membaca ruang. Menye- ya. Kenapa saya suka suka film? Saya, saya, saya tadi ada Joker, ada ada Maltes Falcon. Saya, uh, karena karena film itu yang juga sebuah sebuah media untuk menangkap ruang, merepresentasikan ruang dan mengorganisasikan ruang ya. Cuma Uh, cuma itu itu virtual maya ya jadi jadi sebenarnya kalau kalau kita bicara tentang virtual reality sekarang cuma sebenarnya kan kayak juga bikin film ya jadi jadi uh, jadi uh, cintai dan juga uh, apply that uh, ko- uh, kaitkan dengan kenyataan dan dan uh, coba 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 uh, kaitkan dengan 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 hal-hal yang lain ya kalau 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 saya ya arsitektur dan dan film saya suka pop culture juga jadi jadi uh, Um, ya, ya mall di Indonesia itu kan, ya, ya mall di mana pun ya itu kan, ya arsitektur is really bad, but that that's, it's interesting like, so, uh, to read about actually like, apa apa uh, bagaimana masyarakat kita melihat melihat uh, uh, uang dan waktu, bagaimana masyarakat kita melihat uh, relasi-relasi sosial, ekonomi dan sebagainya. Jadi uh, jangan berhenti di buku, rek, right? tapi tapi tiap hari, rek, right? uh, kaitkan dengan sesuatu yang nyata dan uh, 
Bahasa serius, right? so, ya, 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 kaitkan dengan hal-hal yang fun, right? ya, apa, uh, musik, music, apa, apa, movies atau makanan, right? ya, kan, juga, kan juga bisa ya. Jadi, jadi kalau kita bicara bicara tentang uh, rasa ingin tahu itu enggak, enggak, enggak harus sesuatu yang sangat serius ya, tapi bisa apa aja, right? bisa, bisa, bisa sesuatu yang ya justru itu right? yang, yang, yang sebenarnya kan yang 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 brilian itu kalau kita bisa melihat sesuatu yang kelihatannya remeh-temeh tapi ternyata bisa bisa bermakna dalam ya. ya. Semoga semoga itu 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 menjawab pertanyaannya. Thank you Dr. Arto. I think the the answers would be I mean the simple proverb love what you do and do what you love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Probably one more questions. The participants, do we have uh, another question? All right. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, one more questions uh, related to uh, how easy how easy is it to um, to connect your um, ideas your your ideas uh, and um, to connect the ideas of your research with the theory and uh, problem solving in in writing our thesis. This is a question from the one of the postgraduate student, I think, from master student. Uh, yeah. Ah, how is it uh, how is it to connect theories with uh, how is it to connect theories with with I'm sorry with, with questions or um, the idea, the idea probably the you idea. know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the idea that we have at the beginning is very, very roughly, and then we have to um, to, to to switch the idea into uh, research problem, research um, questions. So how how is it? I mean, how's the best way to connect this thing? Yes, um, uh, we always start like. Uh, we always start with something like our interest, like right? issues, right? And then uh, we investigate that issues, right? To start to, uh, before we get into theories and everything, right? So we start with ideas in, in research, but issues that interest us, right? And then we look into multiple aspects of that, right? And then uh, maybe my suggestion is that to start breaking 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 them off right so uh things that say for example right so uh slums right so you know i have a couple of, of undergrad students right uh, coming to me like right, doing research and undergrad research about slums right uh, yes it's very commendable right so um concerns about about what we can do right but Slums have multiple issues, right? There are social issues, political issues, uh, cultural issues, right? So identifying, oh, this is okay, this is the difficult part, right? The difficult part is identifying things that that really within our track, right? Okay. Uh, so say, okay, for us, maybe we always ask questions about the form, the space, right? Space and form, right? Space and form, right? Okay. Um, what kind of space and slum, right? Uh, how do we define space and slums? What are our organizations of space in of space and slums, or perhaps, right? Yeah. Um, uh, yes, that's the, the that's the most difficult things in research, actually, right? So, bracketing them off, right? And there's no easy way to do that, right? Yeah, this, but, but, uh, but uh, recognizing, right? Yeah, recognizing. Uh, uh, the aspects that that relate to our fields right? okay yes of course you talk about some so it could be like a research in economics it could be research in social science it could be research in urban planning it could be research in architecture right but the no no, no here okay, of course right? things that's going yeah of course we we, we will not get that right away but the, but the point of 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 
of uh, of getting into graduate school is, is, is to to, uh, to train ourselves to to identify right can be same right the, the formal questions right? if we, if in architecture right? the formal questions the spatial questions of something the tectonic questions of some things, right? Maybe in social science is more about like the social organization of something, right? So maybe in urban planning is more about the uh, uh, the policy side of that, or maybe the the uh, spatial organization in different scale, right? So understanding the scale and things like that. Right? So yeah, okay. Um, um, uh, yeah, that's that's not easy. Right? That's so difficult, but uh, that's fine, right? So uh start with asking questions so, so uh, what is actually the the architectural questions of this or or uh urban design questions of that or something else right so like now pandemic right okay yeah okay could be a, could, could, could be a lot of things but what is yeah what 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 could be what could be architectural questions related to the pandemics right so now this is about you know uh about uh space right so what is the our perception of space and uh, does that change right with the pandemics right so uh we all know that the personal space right so maybe back then right so personal spaces within certain uh then, right but now right so Maybe right. So this is could could be like a, like a good question. So, so what kind of uh, what what could be considered as personal space now with 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 pandemics and right. So or maybe uh, 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 how do we organize space now differently from 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 the past right. So yeah yeah. So uh, bracket them right. So uh, uh, not just jump straight away into into theories or something, but uh, refine the ideas and that's that's just like in design right? refine 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 that's why right uh, uh, i think in everything it's always about refining right so uh, 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 clarifying and refining so narrowing down right so now okay so before before we get into theories like so we all know that's uh, that's um if we could if we could formulate the right questions, we are pretty much at least fifty percent done with our research. Like so, and that's to get to get into the right questions. Like uh, that's a long, long road. But uh, uh, just like everything else, like so, uh, don't try to do everything. Like just, just take a bit. Take, take, take a small piece, and then focus on that. Focus on that. Like just. Just like, you know, since since I I talk a lot about craftsmen, right? So, like sushi, right? Sushi chef, right? It's a lifetime, life, lifetime learning, right? So five years just to to be able to cook the rice, right? And ten years just to slice that properly, right? That's 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 just repetitions, but patience and narrowing narrowing everything down. Not not try to do everything, but just narrowing that down. Um, slowly like uh, if you have time <laughs> slowly but at least like so don't try to do everything right so, but that just be in this way like one way of 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 of, of defining critical is like identifying what's what what matters like yeah we cannot we cannot solve the whole the word problem right but okay but uh we could solve things that we are equipped equipped with right yeah so in our field, like so, you know, we're 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 talking about space, right? So so yeah, so I'll focus everything on the on the spatial issues, right? S a small scale for architecture, large scale for like so maybe urban, urban urban field. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Arif. Uh, I know the time uh, is uh, limited, but uh, we still have one more questions. I hope you don't mind if um, I will read the questions from okay. Burhanuddin Subajo. So Burhanuddin is asking, um, I think this related to research timeline for for them as uh, as the new students as students who are new for research things research fields how uh, what what could you suggest for them to keep uh, the research timeline research timeline research timeline yeah yep um 
Um, time management, of course. Like so, uh, uh, I would say, like, okay, so clarifying the goals, right? So clarifying the goals, clarifying the steps, right? Okay. And then, uh, like everything else, right? Um, make a schedule, right? Uh, yes, of course, with my when I advise uh, students for research, like, so sometimes like, some kids just go all over the place, right? So uh, it's, it's very crucial to always have a, a good, a good, a good time management too. You know, just like in projects, right? So set up a like a fifteen weeks schedule right table right and then uh how do we how do we uh, you know my friends always always make a joke how do we eat an elephant right yeah. um chop it into bites right a small 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 pieces right just like that right so uh plan ahead right yeah. make, make a make a timeline plan ahead right yeah. so make a target like small targets not the big targets right so this week okay this is what you know uh this is what we'd like you'd like to achieve what's the next after that so what's the next after that right so um break everything down into small pieces distribute them like uh, across the timeline right and then make a make a feasible goal right so don't don't try to dream big right but okay okay uh, something that's like, like that, that could be could be achieved. That could be the tangible, tangible, tangible goals for each step, right? So, yeah, okay, good, uh, good. Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, okay. It's not every you know everybody like learn, but that it's not something that you know everybody could do that right right away. But but yeah, okay. I would always maintain a like a you know a table, right? A, a timetable, right? So. 12 weeks or 15 weeks or or or, or 14 weeks right and then uh, see overall uh, your overall research right and then break that down right so here right so i need to do say a literature review i need to collect uh, data of uh, 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 put that in, in in your table right and then um, how many books are, you know not how many books right so okay so if i do this review right so here right uh, good if you could really break that down right so uh, this week i need to uh, finish a uh, review this book right or uh, in in those days i need to uh, accomplish that and so on and so forth right so um, and that's why you have advisor, right? So ask your advisor, ask, ask for help, right? So to guide them, right? So to guide you. Okay. Um, uh, don't think that you could, you know, everybody, right? So, me too, right? So uh, we cannot solve, we cannot, we cannot solve everything by ourselves, right? We always need, we need other people, right? So, uh, you know, ask, you know, ask guidance from your, your advisor, right? Um, um, discuss with your friends, right? Uh, don't, don't live in isolations, but, uh, so this is important in research to, to always talk and and communicate and and collaborate, yeah. including um, maintaining our our uh, our our timeline. Yeah. All right. So uh, the key answers would be uh, scheduling, scheduling, and also uh, monitor and evaluate your schedule for sure. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. It was so interesting uh, to have this kind of discussion tonight. It was so productive. <laughs> what a productive night. <laughs> All right, um, thank you so much, uh, participants. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Arif, for all of the presentations, discussions uh, today. I hope um, the presentations from Dr. Arif can extend our knowledge and uh, yeah. Uh, May I ask the participants to uh, unmute uh, yourself to give a big round of applause to Dr. Arif, or you may use um, nice. the uh, button. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. So much, Dr. Really Arif. Appreciate it. Yeah. You always uh, bless us within these pandemic situations. So thank you so much, uh, everybody. Everyone, uh, please. Uh, uh, stay safe and uh, help in this uh, pandemic. Uh, I return to MC 
Agatha, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Guruli, for conducting this amazing session. And thank you very much, Dr. Ari, for the amazing lecture today. So furthermore, we would like to present a certificate awarding for our honorable speaker and moderator. So maybe the committee can start the share screen. Okay, great. So this is the certificate for Dr. Arif. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Dr. Arif. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so next. This is the certificate presented for Puruli. Thank you again, Puruli. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so once again, thank you very much to Dr. Arif and Puruli for your availability on today's session. So before we end today's session, we invite you our participant as well as the honorable speaker and moderator to take a group photo. So for the participant, please open your camera. Okay, maybe the participant who can open the camera, please open the camera. Okay, so now I will start to counting down. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay, one skin. Three, two, one. Okay, so we've just finished the group photo. Then for the participant, please read the feedback form through the link p.ly slash feedback r 2 ep underscore 2021 that you can also see on the Zoom chat room. And we want to remind you the participant who will get the STEM is the participant who come on time, join this event until the end and also fill the feedback form. Finally, we have reached the end of today's research and research student enrichment program. And we sincerely apologize for any mistakes we may have made in presenting as Master of Ceremony and Committee. And thank you again, uh, Dr. Arif and Puruli, and our participants for the attention and cooperation. And for committee, you may end this meeting. Thank you, uh, Pak Arif uh, and committee. Thank you, Viruli yeah, and committee and everybody. Thanks, uh, have a good one. Have a good evening. Right. Stay safe. Thank stay you humble. again, Prof. Arif and Buruli. Please allow me to end the session in three, two, one.